Good morning. I'm Pete Najeri, and this is the Take for Market Rebellion. How exciting is this? I mean, I absolutely live and breathe the markets that we've got right now. This is what we want to have. We want to have a little bit of volatility. I know it can get scary. And all those guys out there that supposedly they, you know, you know, you hear people say that I'm an investor. Oh, I'm an investor. Well, are you an investor or are you a trader? Did you catch it or did you not? And that's kind of the storyline of what we were looking at. And yesterday, unbelievable whipsaw. I mean, you want volatility and velocity? Just take a look at what was happening yesterday. It was an incredible day. We were down 400 plus points on the Dow. We were down nearly 200 points on the NASDAQ. And then we started to move. And before we started that move, or as we started that move, in the late morning, early afternoon, before we started to really accelerate and get off of those lows and move and actually finish, up 100 points on the Dow and up 70 points on the NASDAQ. Here's what we were seeing, that this was really happening, that we were seeing, and it's right on our blogs. And anybody who's on the blog, and if you're not, this is what we were seeing. Buyers of the Regional Bank Index, KRE, they bought 12,000 of the October calls. They went out a little bit in time. Apple, 27,000 Apple calls at the OC 142 strike. Affirm, another one where it just keeps on buying. They bought 28,000 calls that expire tomorrow, and that stock's already been making incredible moves. And then take a look over at some of these. I'll give you a couple examples. Marathon, I'm, I'm looking at Under Armour, Coke, Pro Procter & Gamble, Merck, all of those names with huge option activity before and as the move is starting, just to confirm that this move isn't just starting and then get an end. This is a move that's going to rocket. Well, from down 400 to finish up 100 on the Dow, that gives you a little bit of an idea. And you can see some of the stocks. Those are the ones that I'm highlighting for you. So the volatility index, really interesting, 21 to 24 and a half yesterday. Closed, closer to 21. Then you look at Bitcoin that had an absolutely monstrous day again and actually got up and over that 55,000 level. So that was something very impressive. Crude was up 79, started to ease back towards 77. Some of those different names did have their finally had a little bit of a pullback to the downside. You had the 10 years just kind of hanging out, 1.5. Uh, volumes yesterday, amazingly, I would have thought, given what we were seeing and the big move that we saw, I would have expected the numbers to be a little bit higher than they were. I would have expected a little bit closer or maybe even over 40 million. 36 and a half million contracts yesterday. Still an amazing day and the options just continue to flow. Moderna got hit. That was down, call it somewhere close to eight or 9% yesterday. EA Sports, another one that we talk about, Electronic Arts, that one was down significantly yesterday. And then Dow was down and it was down significantly Today, early on at least, Dow was one of the leaders in the in Dow Industrials itself. So we come back into today. We're hearing about all of this stuff going on with the senators. Can they agree on something? It looks like most likely. And I'll tell you what, early on, we're up 300 points. Then we're up 156 points on the NASDAQ. Things looking pretty good. Then we just continue to accelerate each and every moment that I've looked down. Okay, we're up 350, up 370, up 400. Can I get 500? I mean, it's literally like an auctioneer. It's unbelievable the move that we got in this big spike to the upside. That does not mean we can't pull back just as fast, just like we had that reversal yesterday. But we can, as we get towards expiration, which is Friday, a lot of the call buying that we have seen, yep, it's in that very, very short time frame, October 8th expiring. A lot of the different options that I'm talking about here were very, very short term. Not all of them. Some of them went out to the end of October and so forth, but many of them were options that expire very, very rapidly. So expect more movement, expect more volatility. And speaking of volatility, well, we gave up 20. We pulled back underneath 20. We started the day in the 20s. We got into the upper teens, 19s, and we'll see how long that lasts now. Will we start to pop back up if we get any kind of selling pressure as we accelerate through the rest of the day? It's been an absolutely amazing start to the, the day in the first hour and this explosive move that we have seen to the upside. We are up as much as 550. I'm not even sure where we are right now. It doesn't even, it'll just continue to be flopping around. Financials were up 1% early. Materials were up 1%. Now they're up 2%. Financials are up 1.5%. You look over at tech, it was up 1%. Then it was up 1.6%. Semiconductors, 1.3%. You get the idea. Every single sector early was in the green. So we are seeing 
an incredible, just bullish attitude towards the markets right now. And some of that obviously tied to what's going on and some of the negotiations and everything else going on in Washington. That's all a part of it, no doubt. So a couple other standouts. Freeport McMoran having a pretty decent day with the materials moving to the upside. Obviously, who are some of the leaders? FCX would definitely be one of those names. It was up over 3% early on. Marvell. Now, it's funny. Nobody ever talks about this stock. All of you know that anybody who's been following me for a long period of time, it's a stock that I've pitched. It's the this, that, and the other, and I just continue to hold on to it. That stock having a really, really good day. When you look at some of the semiconductors, there are some that always get talked about each and every day, AMD, NVIDIA, Tenausium, but those names have had some incredible moves, but they always seem to leave out certain other names. And Marvell being one of those names that's rarely talked about, it's one of my favorites that I've had in the portfolio now for well over, I don't know, a year and change or whatever it is. It's just an incredible company that does a great job with acquisitions and then using those acquisitions to grow bigger, bigger, and bigger. So it's really a, a great company. On top of that, Chinese names really having a great day today. Take a look at JD, PDD, NetEase, Baidu, all those names having a pretty strong start, at least to the day today. So we are seeing not just uh, all these US stocks and technology and semiconductors and all that and part of the NASDAQ, but we're seeing also some of the, those Chinese names that have obviously had some struggles. And we've had a little bit of option activity, even in Ababa, for instance, which we hadn't been seeing for a really a pretty long extended period of time. So I got two unusuals and done for the day. I will be on the halftime report tomorrow. I'll also be on uh, Fast Money tomorrow. So it's going to be a double, double animal style tomorrow. But today I'm free after this. So I got my two unusuals and we're going to get going. Netflix. I just talked about this on Tuesday. Netflix, we talked about Netflix and NVIDIA on Tuesday and some of the activity that we had seen that drew me in again to be in those options. Now, you might say, well, why wouldn't you just be holding the stock? Let me explain this. If the stock is up 10 or 12%, 15%, that sounds great. Everybody loves it. Hey, that's a really great trade. The options move at such a different pace that those results and the risk reward is why I do what I do and why John does what he does. And it's why market rebellion is the derivatives king, because it's where the options are. Now, those options that were bought on Tuesday have absolutely exploded to the upside. They were buying the 620 strike calls. The stock was 625. You know where the stock is now? Last I looked, it was trading 646. How do you think those calls are doing? Probably pretty good. Uh Today, we're seeing, again, with the stock trading 646, 5,600 of tomorrow, October 8th, expiring. So be aware of that. You've got today and tomorrow, and that is it. The 650 calls, those are going for anywhere between three and a half and call it five bucks, something like that. So those calls being bought today, very, very short term. Again, a firm. Now, this is a name that has hit and hit and hit and hit for us. So I'm looking at a firm, another one, trading one, uh, right around 137, very close to that level. 8,900 of the October 8th expiring. Yes, again, that is tomorrow. The 140 calls. They started off at a buck 60. They finished off right around four bucks. So looking for a firm to continue this crazy move that it's been making to the upside. We'll see if that can pan out. But very, very short term on both of these. You got to understand them. You've got to have the knowledge. You have to understand risk and reward and all of that. I'll tell you what, if you haven't read our book or some books on options, get into it. Get into the derivatives world. I encourage you for that, but always have the educational side. We got great folks here at Market Rebellion that can help you out as well. Have a great day of trading.